Yeah, our sister station, KOCO in Oklahoma City, were covering those storms yesterday, and they still have more storms that have been ongoing tonight. They're under tornado watches in eastern Oklahoma today. Flash flood watches all those red circles that look like a tornado, a funnel cloud. Those were the storms that reported to have hit and produced those tornadoes last night in the Oklahoma City area in Norman, Oklahoma, where the University of Oklahoma is uh, my alma mater. Potential tropical cyclone 18, we will turn right into the tropics for us. Let's look at the latest track affecting Jamaica, possibly by early Tuesday morning here in the Cayman Islands. There's the country of Cuba forecast to be a count one hurricane by Wednesday morning, by Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening, possibly entering the Gulf of Mexico as a cat one, then weakening to a tropical storm. But you see that there is a large, large span five days from now that it could go any which way. But the takeaway here is this system should weaken considerably as it's going to be moving through the Gulf, and I'll show you that in a minute. Winds right now at 35 miles per hour. North movement at 6. It's really hard to find a center of that system right now. So here's the breakdown of what's going on. Really warm water temps in the Caribbean. Look at the water temps in the Gulf, though. 82 as you get closer to us, and that's barely supportive to give energy to a tropical system. There's dry air that's all in the Gulf there, too. And as that system enters the Gulf, it'll be interacting with a pretty strong storm system that drops over the southern United States. That's going to bring in a lot of wind shear to this system here, too. So those are all things that will weaken that storm. Here's the official track. Here's forecast data out of the U.S. And look, this track has more of that center line in circulation just east of that center line track. And this forecast has been consistent staying east and getting absorbed, maybe moving to us. But listen, this is a gusty wind and rainmaker according to that data. Forecast out of Europe is much closer to that center line data. You see that the storm activity is east. That notes the wind shear that's associated with the system. But this forecast out of Europe takes it west and then joins up with the system west of us. And again, maybe just enhances our rain chances. When you look at all these different forecast data, I am seeing a little takeaway here in the U.S. with a little clustering wanting to take that system east of us here too. Also showing that this would be a rather tight knit storm, really not expansive and large and the wind field really not all that strong either. So the takeaways here likely to be a hurricane would be named Raphael tracks into the Gulf by midweek, but it weakens if it will move towards Louisiana. Still, it does not look like this is a major storm, even if it would head our way. Real time temps, we've got 70s, we've got a breeze, we've also got dew points well into the 70s, so it's mild or warm and humid for the time of the year. I mentioned Baton Rouge tied a record high today at 89, going back to 1935. Strong storm system, we talked about the tornado watch still in southeast Oklahoma. Here in southeast Louisiana, it is a mild start to the morning, most of us into the 70s, winds around 10 to 15. It's a breezy day, slim chance we could get a shower to pop. It's still warm. We still have coastal waters that are going to have small craft advice. That coastal flood alert with the water being drawn on shore with the strong winds. 85, 86, 87. Same is going to happen here for Tuesday, a warm day, chance of a shower, temperatures into the 80s. So really how we've been going through October so far and now into November will just continue the late season warmth. To the weekend, that's that chance that we are influenced by the tropical systems. But again, I call this, if it will track here, a gusty rainmaker. We could still use the rain, Elizabeth.